Welcome to the Welding Engineering Technician Robotics Program Information Session and Virtual Tour. My name is Joe Barnes and I will be your host on this journey. As mentioned, my name is Joe Barnes. I'm the Program Coordinator and Faculty Member at Constable College in the Welding Cluster of Programs. I'd like to start off by thanking you for taking the time to learn a little bit more about the two-year Welding Engineering Technician Robotics Program. This is a new program at Conestoga and is going to serve the industry very well as there is a, a demand for graduates coming out of college with robotic programming and welding expertise. Over the next couple of slides, I'm going to share with you details about the program as well as how it fits in with the other programs in the welding engineering technology stream at Conestoga College. Let me take a minute to introduce myself. I am a graduate of the Conestoga College three-year engineering technology program, as it was back in 2001. Since then, I've spent time in various roles in the industry, including quality assurance, technical sales, and automation management. These roles have provided me with an opportunity to learn, as well as impart some of this knowledge on students as they come through our, our doors. I am one of many faculty members in this program that have real world tangible experience in the welding field. We have expertise in fabrication technologies, engineering welding technologies, uh, robotics and inspection. You're in good hands choosing Conestoga College for your welding program needs. A few of the program highlights that I'd like to mention would include the types of industries that students would find themselves working in upon completion of this program. They include the automotive industry, robotic programming and integ integration businesses, heavy equipment manufacturing, as well as a variety of maintenance functions that can be found in various plants throughout Southwestern Ontario. This program serves a labor, labor market that is in need of this program that provides both hands-on and academic learning. Again, about 50% of your time at Conestoga College will be spent in the labs learning the hands-on skills required to meet the industry demand. This program also offers an optional co-op term, which will take place after the third semester of the program. One thing to point out, the way that the delivery of this program goes, there are three consecutive semesters where students will be in class or on campus prior to having a break. That break will take place in the fall of the following year, which will incorporate either a work term through co-op or what some would traditionally call their summer break, except it happens in the fall. The final semester would take place in the following winter of year two. This would be the same for students in the co-op or non-co-op stream and would be the final semester upon which if successful, students would be able to graduate. I'm going to take a minute just to explain a little bit about the rest of the programs in welding that we offer at Conestoga College. As you can see on this image here, all of our welding programs offered at the Cambridge campus have a common first year. That common first year would include 50% uh, of your time in the shop learning the hands-on skills development of various welding processes. At the end of that first year, students have an opportunity to either graduate with a welding technique certificate, it's a one-year certificate, or they can elect to continue on into the three-year technology programs, whether it be welding and robotics or inspection, or into one of the two-year technician programs, welding technician and robotics, or welding and fabrication technician. After that first year is when students have an opportunity to make that switch. It's a very common practice and one of the reasons why we've allowed for this type of laddering and having a common first year. The only exception I will say is that first year, the two green programs here, welding and robotics and welding inspection, have a little bit more of an engineering level math requirement. That math is required to propel them into the second and third years of that program. Students that have uh, elected to start in either of 
the technician programs or the techniques program will have what we call a trade calculations math. That does not exclude them from participating in the second year of the uh, engineering level or engineering technology programs. All they would need to do is maintain a 70% average in that first year math in the two first year math courses in order to be accepted into the engineering technology programs. We see students every year transfer from the techniques or fabrication technician into the three year technology programs and vice versa. We have students that decide uh, what they originally thought would be a good career path for them in the engineering technology programs, decided to transfer into the fabrication technician, for example, as they really fell in love with working with their hands and building things out of metal. Again, a core component of that first year, about 50% of your time, will be in the skills development lab, which we'll show you a little bit later on, learning all those hands-on skills needed to become a welder. With the way the technology has changed over the last several years and the addition of more advanced softwares to help with the learning process, Conestoga has in introduced a bring your own device requirement for most programs. Uh, the program that we're talking about today is no exception. As you can imagine, there are a variety of different uh, options available for computers. Uh, we're essentially specifying that a laptop be the minimum requirement uh, for each student as they enter these programs. Um, given the types of software that we do use, whether it be AutoCAD or SolidWorks or offline virtual robotic programming software, the requirement for the device needs to be such that it can run all of these different things. Again, students will have access uh, to these tools uh, for download or virtually uh, tapping into the servers at Conestoga College in order to run those software platforms that we're looking for. As you can see here on this slide, what we're basically asking students to do is buy the ultimate bring your own device as recommended. Again, the processing power and, and graphics cards required in order to run the software in these engineering level uh, programs is required to ensure that the students don't run into any problems. The college website does identify that Apple products might be okay. I'm going to suggest that they are not. Now, we do run into interface issues with the software and the college is set up predominantly to support uh, Windows uh, types machines. That doesn't mean that Apple won't work but there may be additional issues or problems uh, that the students will run into running a, a, an Apple product for this. If you have any questions about the requirements or are unsure, you can take this information. Uh, it's also available on the website to any of the uh, computer supply stores and they'll be able to help you out. The next few slides, I will walk you through a virtual tour of the, the Cambridge campus and some of the key features, particularly the, the welding facilities that we have here. These links are available on the website and can be viewed at any time. So don't worry if I go a little bit too fast. We're gonna to focus today on the welding shop, the advanced welding lab, and the robotic welding lab. This is the main atrium of the Cambridge campus. The School of Engineering and Trades. As you can see, it's a pretty wide open space. The Conestoga Students Incorporated is located in this area as well. And it also adds a uh, highway through to the rest of the building, whether it be going up to the second or third levels. Most of the shops are located on the first floor. The Cambridge campus also has its own library space. This library space is used by students quite often for quiet study. We have our own cafeteria. The cave is an area for run by students uh, incorporated and is a gathering place. The student services hub also for students run by Conestoga Students Inc. 
an example of one of the lecture halls that we have. A quiet open space for students to work, either in groups or individually. And another one of our larger lecture halls. These lecture halls are typically not used by the welding students. Uh, we have larger programs that, that need the, the space facility. Um, I mention this because most of our class sizes are going to be capped at uh, no more than 40 students. These two lecture halls I showed you just now hold upwards of, of 60 to 100. The next up on our virtual tour is the Welding and Fabrication Lab. As mentioned, that first year of the program is going to spend a lot of time in the welding skills development area. Conestoga has upwards of 45 booths, each outfitted with a variety of different welding processes. Each booth is capable of performing the same tasks, but we do have a variety of different uh, manufacturers represented to give students the opportunity to learn on more than just one device or one power source. In the fabrication area, students have the opportunity to work with different various fabrication machine tools and operations, as well as manually fitting and laying out, developing their skills in the second semester. This next stop on the tour kind of highlights the uh, cutting skills area. Again, each booth that we have of the 45 all have the ability to provide oxy fuel cutting and brazing operations, as well as the welding processes, as I mentioned earlier. Included in the virtual tour is the fabrication shop. This fabrication shop includes a variety of different uh, machines that students will have hands-on experience in operating, from manual brake presses to a variety of different uh, plate shears offered. There's a small one and a very large one to a CNC operated brake press and a CNC cutting table using the plasma arc cutting process. The Welding Technology Lab includes a variety of different manufacturers welding processes with the heavy focus on non-traditional welding outputs. This would include things like pulse welding, that's CMT from Fronius. As you can see, the equipment in here is more varied and the learning space is a little bit more modular to allow students to explore a variety of different processes through their studies. It includes operations like a submerged arc welding system, as well as two spot welding systems you see here. Our next stop is the Welding Robotics Lab. This is an area in the second year of the program where students will begin to learn how to program robots using a teach pendant. There's also introduction to offline robotic programming, which we'll show you in a second. This lab has a total of six welding robots in it, and again, dedicated to our space. As you see in the animation below, a robot has been programmed in the virtual environment by bringing a 3D model of the part into that world. That information can then be downloaded and transferred into a robot for actual operation and welding to occur. Our three-year our third year of the program, students are provided an opportunity to work on an advanced uh, technology project of their own choosing. The image on the right shows a, a project that some students did in additive manufacturing, basically 3D printing with metal. Their final product were, was a mug uh, made out of stainless steel. Again, pretty technically advanced for programming being completed on a teach pendant rather than in the virtual world. I'd like to take a minute to discuss the career opportunities that we see students coming out of this program will be able to enjoy. Again, this is a new program designed with the help of industry to fill a need 
that we're currently seeing out in the marketplace. There's great demand for robotic welding technicians and programmers, robotic welding maintenance personnel, and welding process quality assurance as it relates to automated processes. We see a huge opportunity for students coming out of a two-year program to enter the workplace directly in these types of roles. I'd like to take a minute to address some of the frequently asked questions we get about these programs. The first one being, can I switch into another program from this one? That's a great question and one we feel very often. As mentioned on one of the previous slides, Conestoga's welding programs have developed a, a laddered effect, meaning that having a common first year allows students in whichever welding program they've selected to transfer into a, a different one, assuming that they've passed all of their courses and have uh, grades equivalent to the program that they're going to jump into. This allows students to experience a little bit more of the welding field before locking into a career path. Next question, how much welding will I get to learn? Students have the opportunity in that first semester, and well, first year really, uh, spending 50% of their time with a welding helmet on, learning the different uh, welding processes in a skills-based course environment. When we get into the second year or third semester and fifth semester, students in the robotic technician program are gonna spend more time working with automated processes, whether it be a simple track system or a robotic system. The emphasis is now more on the automation side of welding rather than the, the physical skill of welding. Are there any other credentials I need once I'm finished? The short answer to this question coming from the welding technician robotics program is no. Some companies will elect to send uh, students or new hires, I should say, off for specific training to their processes. Meaning, if uh, company A hires on one student and they have a brand of robot the student hasn't seen, they may send them for specific robotic training. Usually take place over three to five days offsite at a manufacturer's facility uh, in order to become proficient in the specific equipment that that company has. This is not a uh, credentialization uh, per se. Uh, it's just additional training specific to the job or role that you have been hired to perform. Last question I'll touch on is, will I get my welding tickets? Conestoga College is a, a certified testing center for the Canadian Welding Bureau or the CWB. We do not, however, have our own inspector on site. Several times a year, we will hire in or contract in one of the CWB inspectors to come and witness the students performing their welding tests. These tests are not required by the program and are uh, elective, meaning students would sign up and pay for the opportunity to challenge those tests and gain their ticket in welding those different processes. Again, that's a voluntary uh, function that the college subsidizes and provides the opportunity to students in order to increase their uh, higher ability in, in the short term. For more information on this program, I invite you to visit the webpage. I'd like to thank you again for taking the time to uh, join us on this uh, little virtual tour here. Uh, I hope I've been able to answer a uh, majority of your questions that you have. If anything else comes up, because I know there's a lot of information in this video, uh, please don't hesitate to send me an email. Uh, my information will be on the next slide. Uh, by all means, be happy to start a conversation and hopefully get you to join our team here at Conestoga College.